Hello my fellow subscribers, the one the only water cool fool. Today we're going to be talking about flashing your GTX Titan BIOS. I have one card already set to Hydro Copper, which is my top card. I um what I did was disable all the other cards that I have on my Asus Rampage Black Extreme. So the third card is where I have it plugged in is what I have it um turned on so that's the only thing it's going to turn on so okay so what you're going to do is and I'm going to see if this works hopefully it does um, it did the first try so what you have to do and my monitor looks crazy then crap so what you're going to have to do is um, disable your device uh, which is AKA your Titan X. Now the reason why I'm recording is because I'm not going to screw up my uh, you know my thousand dollar graphics card because it's not going to be able to record. So you see all that? So you're going to go to display adapters and then um, go ahead and right click. You're going to do this and then you're going to disable that driver and it's going to cause the um, display it might act a little wonky or even look really really weird um, I don't know why but sometimes it does that okay I'm trying to do this as quick as possible and everything like that so what you do now is um, you're gonna go to overclock.net and I'm assuming you guys who want a BIOS flash you know what you're doing so I don't take any you know part in if you break your card so what you're gonna do you can go to uh, Google search or just type in here Titan X hit enter and then you should get this Titan X uh, club right here so they're gonna have you do um, let me go ahead and you're gonna, they're gonna have you download NV Flash what I do is I create a folder you know go on your desktop right click create new folder I name it NV Flash pretty simple here guys so um, after that you're gonna download one of the BIOS I did the new Max Air BIOS um, right here at the bottom and I just renamed it to where it says GM200 doesn't say like HC or anything like that so I download that, downloaded that file put it in there uh, until the new folder that I created which says NV Flash okay so all I have to do right here as you scroll down and it says NV flash tax six you know index equals zero and that what the index means is zero is correlating to the zero which is your PCI Express so you know how cores have zero one two three it's the exact same thing with their graphics card it's gonna say zero one two three so also they do have if you're doing SLI and you're not sure you click on here and there's a step for SLI as well so can't get any easier than that guys so um, what I'm gonna do and I'm assuming uh, what I have to do here is just uh, since I only have this disabled, I should be able to do where it says what card you're going to do. But, um, you know, it's going to be pretty easy. So I'm going to assume that uh, I'm going to do this warning, BIOS flash guide, you know, all that stuff. So we're going to do NV flash tax 6, and then we're going to do index equals 3, which means the third. Uh, or two, excuse me. So, we're gonna do index two for the PCI Express card. So, what you do now, let me go ahead and zoom out. And we're gonna go ahead and go to where it has NV Flash. And let me drag this folder over here, open it up. So, I can go ahead and delete this crap right there. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Shift then right click and then you should see uh, open command prompt here so we're gonna go ahead and do that 
and then from there I'm gonna do paste right here then I'm gonna do index so let me scroll over here index equals 2 and I don't know why it moved 0 so let me hit delete there we go hit enter we're gonna hit yes let me see what it says. Da, 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 okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this another way. So if you have one card, go ahead and hit Q. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift, right click. I'm going to do open command window here. And then what I copied and pasted. I think the reason is is because I disabled all these lanes so it only recognizes that I have one uh, card here so let me go ahead and zoom out so go ahead and do that da 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 boom hit enter and then we're gonna hit yes and then blah 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 make sure the adapter is disabled so that's what I had you guys do right here we have it disabled right there so see right there alright now we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna hit Y and then it says warning please did uh, confirm override we're gonna hit Y again are you sure heck yeah we're gonna turn this into a hydrocopper and god dang that's loud I'm sorry okay wait for it to load it's loading it's loading hopefully it doesn't take too long because I'm trying to like do this like a speedy thing kind of because it's pretty straightforward so okay everything's done everything's flashed so what you're gonna do is going to go ahead and we're gonna enable it so here we go we enabled the driver or I should say card and now what I like to do and I might have to move the camera up and I do apologize so I'm gonna do a restart so I'm going to have you look at the wall real quick because um, I have it secured on my um, deal here for my uh, computer. So now wait for your computer to reboot. So it's rebooting. See? Ta da Okay, now. So that's a good sign. If you get a picture, you're good. If you don't get a picture, eh. You're kind of SOL on that part. All right, now it's loading. So what you're going to have to do is log in. And then this is what I personally do. You don't have to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Okay. All right, now your computer is going to look all wonky. And the reason why is because your graphics card has to reinitialize on the system itself. So you're going to see it doing a little flashy thingy and, you know, all that fun stuff. So, and even here on the site it says, um, reboot, let the card set up, and then reboot again. So we're going to go ahead and wait for the cards to set up. Generally, it should take like a minute or so for your cards. So that's pretty, it's pretty easy to do, and I'm kind of lucky with this Asus Rampage uh, Extreme that I have. So pretty much you can uh, disable any card and just BIOS flash them individually. Doing them SLI is a little bit more complicated and everything like that, but it should be self explanatory. So, yeah. So it should taking effect right now you may see some flashing going on that's because the cards are reinitializing it's recognizing it as a new card essentially on the system so what I like to do and hopefully it doesn't take too long I'm gonna go ahead and have you guys look at the wall real quick I'm sorry if you see my ugly fat head so I like to shut down the computer completely instead of rebooting it so it shouldn't take too long for the, my computer to shut off alright so it's going into Z mode I'm gonna go ahead and power up my card right now I should say my computer 
And with me, on my computer, I have a delay because of the water cooling. So, that's why you think it's still running, but it's not. Okay, we got a display. Alright. So we're going to wait for everything to pop in and recognize and do its initializing thing. So, it's pretty damn easy, in my opinion. Again, I'm kind of you know, the guy that likes to do stuff, so. So, all right. So we're gonna get it, wait for everything to kind of initialize again because we did shut down our computer. All right, let me go ahead and log in. I'm sorry if you see my fat head. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and flash, alright, now we can go ahead, I'm going to try to find this folder as fast as I can, um, for some reason I can't, I think that's the setup, not the shortcut to it, so, oh I love not having a shortcut for that, so what we're going to go ahead and do if you don't have EVJ Precision on shortcut just go to your C drive and locate when your uh, program files and we're going to go ahead and go to Precision X and then we're going to go to Precision 64 we hit yes and we should see Hydro Copper on the card itself and badoom there we go Hydro Copper and these are not hydro copper, if you've noticed. Sorry for the mess, ladies and gentlemen, on my computer. It is in the middle of a little slight upgrade. So there you go, guys. So let me go ahead and uh, turn off my computer, turn on all the PCI Express slots, call it good. And then uh, from there, we can run some benchmarks, maybe, if it's not too hot. Um, it looks like this is going to boost up to 12... 1000 I can't really tell where it is right here to see where the boost clock is can't even click on it to get an exact well boost clock is going to be past 1200 if you look right there so um, give your best guesstimate probably 12 20 maybe ish but that is it guys um, I apologize for like this kind of setup but this is all I have is a tripod. I really don't have a cameraman like over my head, which I did. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button, and you guys always have a great day. Bye.